So in this video, I want to show you a couple of uh, nuances or things that you should uh, take note of with regards to LibReview and how you use it with Diabox. So after searching for LibReview, uh, you'll find it in Google or you can just go to LibReview.com. Once you're there, go ahead and log in with the account that you've set up and logged in. And I just wanted to give you, again, a couple of the nuances uh, with regards to how things are set up here in the LibReview system. So as of, uh, let's see, today's date is 11-9-2020. Uh, uh, this is how the LibReview web-based software is. So a couple things under this hamburger menu or settings menu. Uh, first of all, you have the report preferences. And if you haven't gone in here, um, you can change the particular report preferences to give you a report at one week, two week, three weeks, so on and so forth. Uh, and you can do that with each of these. Here is your Freestyle Insel Linux. I don't particularly have this one, but you can set up the settings for that. Here are additional settings for the reports with regards to the Freestyle Libre, which is uh, what the bubble uses and, and what I use here. Uh, the next thing to note are the account settings. And so under here is your general pro profile, which is where you can change your email address and password. You also have preferences. So if for some reason uh, you want to change the unit of measurement that you'll uh, have to have set up initially, um, you'll want to go ahead and use this. Here in the U.S., chances are it's always going to be MG slash DL. Time formats, 12 and 4 hours. Anyway, you can change all of these, this information here. I have another video where I showed you specifically what this is. Um, this essentially is where you will add your practice ID for your endocrinologist, and they will be able to keep up and see the LibreView reports with you uh, to help you make decisions about your care. The other thing that you'll have to take notice here is my devices. So if you have a Freestyle Libre Link application, on your device, in addition to the Diabox application, you're going to wind up with two devices potentially that could send information up to this particular account. And so it's very helpful to go ahead and edit this. So before you go ahead and add Diabox, the integration, you may want to go ahead and give the nickname LibreApp uh, to the only item that would be connected and then after you've connected your Diabox app you'll want to go ahead and, and name it as Diabox. Um, you don't have to necessarily do that but anyway then uh, typically the way that it'll work is the Libre app will always be the first one and then after you've added Diabox it's likely always to be the second one. Another good way to help you determine which one's which is notice that this was updated four days ago when I had a sensor change. Um, right now, the way that it's working, and it didn't always used to work this way, you can only have one app on a device logged in at any one given particular time. So when I do a sensor change, I have to use the Libre app to tap it to activate the sensor to get it going. And then after that, uh, LibreView uh, goes ahead and... Um, not labor review, sorry, Diabox will go ahead and kick in and, and do what needs to be done. So with that being said, after the sensor change, if you don't have the device, uh, which is the glucose reader and the NFC reader directly from Libri and you're using your phone like me, just know that you're going to have to go into your application and you'll actually, you know what, let me bring that back up. Give me just a second. Okay, so here is the Freestyle Libre Link app. And when I, you go to do a sensor change, you're just going to have to choose sign in and you're going to have to put in your password and then it'll do it and then you'll tap the device and it'll start it. Now, the thing is, after you've started the sensor, what I'll, what you're going to want to do is immediately come over to your Diabox application, go into the settings and go back into integration and then go ahead and click and force and click on the login button again. And what that'll do is that will log you out of the other Libri app that you use to activate the sensor, and it will reactivate this Libri view um, integration with inside of Diabox. So very important. Again, this just started happening where they only allowed you to do one device at a time, which is helpful because what was happening is uh, you're getting skewed reports uh, over here. And what will happen is, is that it'll tell you, oh, we found two devices or two data sets coming from two different devices. We're going to go ahead and merge that. And sometimes it caused problems. 
and occasionally see here you go merge uh, data merged from two sources data coming in from more anyway it happens so fast you can barely read it but uh, that's what happens and so to stop that from happening uh, I believe they made a change on the back end to only allow for one device to be logged in at any given time so very important uh, information to understand and uh, once you understand that then you should be good to go and information should start flowing into the dia from the Diabox app into the, the, the back end. And you can very easily check that by going into the daily log and then specifically going down to the last day. And you will see that you will get all of the different various readings in there. Um, and then of course, you can always go back and check with you know kind of what's going on uh, from the backside and check other days to make sure that you're still getting data flow through and through on the various reports. All right, so that's it for this video. We're about a minute long. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.